Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. This is Sabiuddin Ahmed Siddiqui. Now we are going to learn about graphical user interface in Java and as far as Java is concerned we are going to use some libraries from Java that is Swing. So now moving on to graphical user interface. Now as far as the introduction to graphical user interface is concerned basically we have to first know about how to pronounce this that is GUI G -O -O -E, GUI GUI means graphical user interface and if uh, you see that graphical user interface basically this is a pictorial effects given to a user where user interacts directly onto the screen and he she picks the control or buttons or pictures of their interest so that is why graphical user interface is very important and to know the pros and cons of this terminology that is GUI graphical user interface is very important in such a manner that you will be able to design your own canvases, own forms, own frames and everything like that. So a graphical user interface presents a user oriented moves which interacts with the user and an application. As far as user oriented moves are concerned basically we are equipped with the controls that means you are you place some controls like text box, labels and something like that on the canvas and then later on the canvas is ready to uh, use on screen. Now GUI gives you distinct look and feel output. Different or distinct look and feel means that means for example it basically it looks very good to you. So it has a Nimbus platform that will highlight its uh, beauty and when you will start developing applications in GUI you will see that how interesting it is. Then different GUI components build GUIs they are also known as controls or widgets windows gadgets and I have just explained about the controls that means all controls such as labels, text box, text fields, text area, buttons, radio buttons, check boxes and something like that. So it's an object where the user communicates by using mouse or keyboard or another type of input for instance voice recognition. So now you can see that this is graphical user interface. Now GUI components we are going to incorporate GUI components with the help of Swing component library. Now moving on to Swing. Uh, basically Swing is used to create window based applications. Now window based applications means that means they are visible and visual to you. It is a part of JFC Java Foundation classes. So Java Foundation classes will help you create such lovely and beautiful screens for you to work on in GUI mode. Swing is built on the top API that is AWT Abstract Windowing Toolkit which is completely written in Java. That means you have not externally taken this library. Now Swing provides platform independent and lightweight components. Platform independent means they do not take much space and storage space in memory and lightweight components means they can easily be incorporated in a program. Now Swing basically uh, as far as the GUI components are concerned can be accessed by importing Java X.Swing package. It provides classes for Swing API such as J button, J text field, J radio button, J checkbox, J menu, J color chooser and J text area etc. So you can see that lots of controls are available basically this can be done in two modes and we have different uh, IDEs for performing these tasks. So uh, when you will start programming in swing you will see that how many controls do we have and we will be placing and calling them one by one. Now to distinguish between AWT and swing while discussing graphical user interface basically the table shows you the difference between abstract windowing toolkit and swing so you can see that the first component or first point of AWT is components are platform independent swing swing components are platform independent you can see the difference one is dependent and one is independent now second one is consume memory I am talking about AWT consume memory and storage hence components are heavyweight heavyweight does not mean that they have lots of weight but they consume memory and storage space that is why and swing components are lightweight AWT components don't support pluggable look and feel PLAF PLAF swing components support pluggable look and feel that means you can see it will look you good 
so that is why AWT provides less components and GUI support than Swing whereas Swing it provides more powerful components than AWT which includes tables, scroll panes, tabbed panes, lists and color choosers etc. Now as a matter of fact when we deal with the data so we need to have some kind of models the top one is the MVC model that is model view controller. AWT it does not have MVC model view controller support where model represents data, view represents presentation and controller acts as an interface between model and view. On the other hand, Swing follows MVC and supportable with data components as well. So you can see that that is why AWT but to some extent we use AWT support uh, whereas Swing covers everything like that. Now moving on to Java Foundation class we need to know a bit about JFC Java Foundation class so that you can uh, when you become familiar with using this with the swing so you will be able to handle this it's a set of graphical user interface GUI components that simplify the desktop application development basically desktop application development is a old-fashioned systems that used to be accessed from only the operating point that means if it is installed in an office so you have to reach office and then you will be able to access TTP software so as far as the uh, website development has taken part in this and they have reduced a lot of work but increased the work load of programmers so to keep them involved in designing and developing web based applications as well now JFC basically provides you desktop application platform where you write some controls at some level at office level or where you can access by going to the concern point so this is successful now you can see hierarchy of swing classes APIs now we have to see that we deal with the objects and where they are coming from so we need to know about each API and the function of an API what it provides us now see the on the top layer you can see the object is there and object has some other branches such as container component and j component you can see the component has the main object and it has different branches connecting it that is container and container class you can see that it has sub parts such as window and panel and panel has another part that is known as applet and windows has two more parts uh, that is frame and dialog now on the other hand if you take that j component provides the component to object that is the list of some controls available with j component you can see j level j list j table j combo box j slider j menu and there is no j you can see the second last one which is known as abstract button abstract button gives you j button so you can see that these are the components and API classes which are associated with the object class and object class has lots of functions with it. So you can see the hierarchy of Swing classes APIs. So we have to when we give the reference of Swing Java X dot Swing dot asterisk means they are all enabled. So you can use them from any point of view or from any angle that if J label you want to use you can give a reference of J label it will be workable. So now JFC and Swing. We need to know about a bit for JFC and Swing. JFC basically is short for Java Foundation Classes as you already know this thing which manages and deals a group of features. You know group of features means that means there are a bundle of groups so but it provides you some features for each groups for building graphical user interfaces furthermore adding rich graphics functionality and interactivity to Java applications it is known as containing the features so this is what the JFC is compared with the swing now you can see the features of JFC with the descriptions and the swing features as well now you can see the feature of swing GUI components what it provides you can see that GUI components include everything from buttons to split panes to tables that means split panes to tables that means if a pane is there it can be divided into tables many components are capable of sorting printing and drag and drop to name a few of the supported features on the other hand you can see pluggable look and feel support that means plaf 
playf basically is the function that look and feel of swing applications is pluggable allowing a choice of look and feel for instance the same program can use either the java or the windows look and feel additionally the java platform supports the gtk plus look and feel which makes hundreds of existing look and feels available to swing programs many more look and feel packages are available from various sources as you know that java libraries are very rich and big as well so you can see the java library and references now accessibility of api advanced programming interface or application programming interface enables assistive technology such as screen readers and braille displays to get information from the user interface so this is basically the features and descriptions of gfc which it provides to the user or the programmer or the developer so you can see that the description says something different so we have to focus on this thing and keep by using this we can develop more rich and robust application java 2d api now it enables developers to easily incorporate high quality 2d graphics text and images in applications and applets java 2 dimensional includes extensive apis for generating and sending high quality output to printing devices now what internationalization is it is known as i18l you can say i18n that is known as internationalization i for initialize and n last n is for the ending letter i internationalization i18n right so it allows you to put for the developers to build applications that can interact with users worldwide in the own languages and cultural conventions with the input method framework what is input method framework basically the input method let's suppose if you are using english so the internationalization should be english that means english people can understand this and if you apply this thing so it has the capability to switch over onto the languages by placing the buttons or by automatic changing of languages so even if you want to develop any application it can be implemented easily now developers can build applications that accept text in languages that use thousands of different characters such as japanese chinese or koreans let's suppose if a general ascii table contains 256 characters or let's suppose if i am talking about unicode so if let's suppose they are just having 2500 characters so you can see the combination of different characters it may be more or less so if you want to speak in urdu if you want to speak in hindi if you want to speak in german portuguese and other languages of the world so you can use internationalization so this also supports the other languages of the world now we will be continuing with this package in the next tutorial so thanks for watching and i hope you will like this so we will continue with this 18 public packages provided by swing api so keep watching and we will be continuing in the next video thanks for watching